spooky month has begun! And to celebrate, we are going to bring some iconic cards against each other. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts, and werewolves of all different nature. So, there's many spooky Yu-Gi-Oh decks in existence, but these ones, uh, you know, they just don't get as much love. So that's what we're here for. We're here to love them real good. The way you um, make that sound. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we, we just got done recording for another channel. I'm still in that mode a little bit, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Get your cards down. And the way I said it right there, it makes it sound real vague and mysterious, too. But I will refuse to uh, elaborate. Just to make it <laughs> funnier. Okay, so I got a chalice lime here. I believe I can activate that and get some stuff moving. So, we'll go for that. Discard. What would I like to discard? Hmm. Let's hold on to that, because that's fun. Um, so with this, I discard, I can send. If you have this card in your hand, discard and special summon them. Can't touch from deck. That's what I wanted. Um, well, since I won't need them, we'll just send Kanda all away from here. I'll just put Talismandra. And Talismandra will just get the Kanda all out. So we have an extra deck here, but it's not exactly the focus. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna... Dark Factory. Yeah. This allows me to send my Necrode Banshee to the grave to draw a new card. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is going to be interesting because I'm sure you're using like that card in some of the new support, but it's to feed Pumpkin of all oh, things. Yeah. So, that's and Castle of Dark Illusions, too, because I found out oh, no, that I you're supposed to use both. Yeah, definitely. You need them together. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff searched up. We got ourselves the synthesis spell. I think it's time to summon one of the three lycanthropes in my hand. So we'll do just that, using that as material. And there we have it, lycanthrope. Summon super quickly, and when it inflicts battle damage, I get to, uh, you know, do more damage for the graveyard. For each so normal good. monster in your graveyard. Yeah, which at the moment is uh, none, and it's probably not going to be any with this deck, but that's fine. We might as well summon a little. No, more. so Lycanthrope used to be a part of an old uh, arch, uh, an old strategy where you spammed a bunch of normal monsters straight to the graveyard and then mm. use them to basically burn your opponent to death. Let's see if I can get lucky here. Oh no, of course it's Castle Dark Illusion. Oh no, my life points, they're ruined. Oh no. Uh, if I had to do my own math, I'm going to be done for now. I was not expecting you to bring out Lycanthrope on the first turn. No, yeah, hope. things worked out for me. So. I was hoping to get Castle of Dark Illusions going easier. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, def I definitely had like a Pumpkin Castle of Dark Illusions deck back in the day as well. Back when they were actually good in Yu-Gi-Oh! And even yeah. then they weren't like that good. I'm gonna set down this card and hope that it works out. <laughs> okay. The way you said that, it's a totally another Castle of Dark Illusions. Um, we're going to discard uh, one of my Lycanthropes, because I got three in hand. And special summon. Um, I was lucky getting three Lycanthropes right away. Yeah, I guess so. So we'll just do that. I don't really have a purpose for him yet, since I don't have my ritual card. But that's fine. Add one ritual monster. Oh, yeah, I should have summoned the other one. I don't know. For some reason, I haven't played rituals in just a little bit and already forgot completely we, which incantation We just what. played with a ritual deck not too long ago. playing it, so... True. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna make the same mistake twice. We're attacking with Lycanthrope. Aha! Pump ah. Princess! Okay. And as you know, it puts itself in the back row, and for every turn that it's there, your monsters lose 100 attack points. That's very good, considering I have a dominant field right now. But I have to survive that many rounds, too, for the main matter. Yeah, mathematically, you need to keep putting a wall out there for that to work out for you. All right, end turn. Okay. You took life points? Um, yeah, I'm wondering why. Oh, your put your your your, your talismanja. Remember, you need to use them, or else uh, you yeah. take damage for it. Did forget that. I think that just because I usually don't run Chalice Slime in my decks, so yeah, not with it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I didn't need those life points anyway. Yeah, I usually just run three of the Talismandra and Kandal. Alright. Uh-oh. What you got? I'm gonna normal yep. summon 
My Ooh, uni zombie. Beautiful. Activating uni zombies effect. Mm -hmm. One of the best zombie cards there is. So I'm gonna lower the level. I'm gonna lower your uh, lycanthropes level. Sure. What you should have done is like lowered the level of Talismander so I can't use that as another uh, material for a level 6 summon. Yeah. Eh. You're right. Send that to the grave. Activate Gloa Bloom. Of course I don't have any of those guys in yeah, there. Yeah, no Doom Lord. King in there, but still. I can get Pump Sp King. Moving. But Spump Special Summon the Pump, Pump King. King. Very nice. Okay. Set this card down. So this could very quickly go in your favor. Unfortunately, there's one downside. I can just kill him. Not not only that, but the uh, Castle of Dark Illusions needs to be face up. Yeah. There. There's a reasonable if gamble they, putting it out in defense, but... Yeah. If they ever update this, this, this pair up... They need to make Castle of Dark Illusions like a field spell instead, or a continuous spell that, or something. They could do that very easily, and I feel like it would support it pretty well. But yeah, I guess down goes the... Ooh, trading, huh? Yeah. I guess you just don't want to take the life point damage? What is this? Lowering your amount of, like, defensive options. I mean, your t offensive Good. options. Oh, I didn't see your pumpkin was in uh, defense mode. Okay, well, that makes sense. All right, well, we got that's some. that uh those pumpkin tokens are starting to stack up. Yep. All right, let's use this correctly this time, and I will discard uh, self. I think it'll still work, and we'll get Kendall adding a ritual spell. Thank you very much. So we, I think, just get another synthesis spell is the right call, and we summon the other one. Um, what can I do with this? Um, I don't know, but let's do that now. Um, I think I will tank the uh, damage because Kandal's not going to be used for the uh, material, but that's fine. Who needs life points in this game anyway? Alrighty. Oh, why is he so weak? Oh, is it just when stuff is summoned that counters me? Okay. Oh, it's I uh, the first one was boosted. That's why. Yeah, I was wondering, like, yours was boosted by something, and I forget what. Mm -hmm. Um, what can I do here? I think I'll wait to use this card as a big finisher, and we'll just go to a battle here. Alright, Pumpkin. Go back to see your ghosts. Alright. Worlds are got the whole pack of them out here now. Yeah, except you sent one to the grave, so I guess that's not gonna be used. Yeah. <laughs> Still, you think there's ever been a field with two lycanthropes on it? No. <laughs> this, this might be a first in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know, man. Who would bother to do this? But us. You got anything to put down? Uh, yeah, okay. actually. He's, he's clinging on. I'm gonna normal summon my Gozuki. Alright. Activating his effect. Send straight to the graveyard my Mizuki. Yeah, classic. Then using Mizuki, I will bring out the Pumpkin. Back to the field. Mm -hmm. Then I will. Ooh, okay. So even if, so, you can still do that. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. What is powering up your lycanthrope backup? By the I way, I think something from way early on, but it's only by like two hundred, whatever it is. Yeah, because I swear it was at two. 200 before mm -hmm. 2000 2000 2200 now it went no, back yeah, up it was it hasn't gone back up it's still continuously going down but okay yeah Is i'm gonna activate no? activate this just to cut your attack points in half oh a bit. gosh that's massive actually yeah so 
I think I should be okay after this. Yeah, that changes things drastically. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well done. Then activate. Yeah, now nah, with the pumpkin. All right, but we got some extravagance. We'll see what I can dig up. Right. Oh, and I did mess with your level of your lycanthrope a little bit, so it's like now you can't. Yeah, uh, like I can't just use two sixes right here. So that's a little annoying. Okay, I guess there's only one thing I can do. And I don't like it, but they're not enough. Who is enough? The King Barbaros! I'm activating warning at warning point. Ooh. I've never heard of this card, but it sounded fun. Ooh. Um, it's perfect right now. Okay. You just can't a monster summon. Yeah, monsters summon. Yeah. And also cannot be used as material for fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link. All right, I'll summon a Gene Warp Warwolf as well, just to get Gazuki off the field, but very nice. Well, so, yeah. he's actually weaker. Oh, yeah, the, the the stupid pumpkin. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> We're in trouble I now. Guess it's stacking up. <laughs> yeah. I got, got no spell destruction to speak of. Yeah, I wasn't ready for him to be dropped by that much off the bat, but 500 off every monster right now. She's doing the part. And he gets to right. double Gazuki. Oh no, he gets to set himself up. Activate. Not the castle. Not the castle. Oh, it's it's go time now. Okay. So if I don't figure out something quick, it's over. Yeah. Fortunately, we do have Barbaros out here right now, but... See if you got something else for I should have let like, you not mention anything and just had you run right into Regina Werewolf into Gozuki. I may have, actually. Because <laughs> I didn't <laughs> see it until you said something. Maybe I would have, but hard to say. Okay. I'm not even using the uh, Lost Win as a stopping you from playing or using your play. I literally just use it to cut your attack points down. Yeah. Well, it worked out well for you. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're just chilling here. Now I can, what can I do with this? Banish a Barbaros monster and then target two things and destroy them. No, I think it's time to attack. So we'd like to go attack. Break the castle, quick. Lost the wind. <laughs> okay. And look at your life points be even weirder numbers. Oh, it's so rough. I can't just like quick use the effect or anything either. Hmm. Yeah, I was honestly surprised. I thought you were going to use it to destroy my back row a little bit. Well, I'd have to destroy myself to do it. So, being uh, able to destroy everything on your field would have been better. Nah, I guess that's game. Lost wind. Alright. We'll see if Gain I can stall it point. out, but I don't even know how to use some of the centaur from my hand. And then uh, this goes up seven counters, and now my pumpkin is starting to rise up with attack points. Yeah, it's going like down for me and up for you slowly. I don't leave that. All right. Each of those, oh, all zombie monsters, so not just on my side. Yeah, so I guess that helps me. I guess that might have been what was boosting me earlier. Yeah, it was by 200. I didn't have it on the field, though, weirdly enough. Uh, yeah, I and it so. only I don't know. Either way. Yeah, take oh, it. wait, no, it was. It was, it was. Okay. They, even if it leaves the field, it don't, the, the attack points stay up. Okay. Well. All right. And then go, Zuki. Oh, yeah, during each of your next four standby phases. What a weird effect. It's old school, that's why. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin attack. All right. Ooh. Yeah, no, there's no saving me now. It Pumpkins just started to become too strong. <laughs> All right, but I 
know what I can do. I got this. I can, I can fi- oh no, it's not gonna fix anything. Darn it. I was trying to even out my life points, but... No, now they're just on 90. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did my math in the wrong order. I was like, I can bring it back to 50. No, it's 90 now. It's worse. Gain attack. Lovely. At least we're going down with a wolf on the field. Going up with him further. Wow, that changed so quick. I mean, I guess with Lost Wind it will, but even so. Give yeah. It field as well. Pumpkin. I also had to use the Miz I had to be smart with the Mizuki and, and and all that, so in order to do this as well, so I mean yeah. That's what Mizuki's for. Mm-hmm. And also early on, getting pumpkin princess was key early on. Yes, so we could just stack and stack and stack. Alright, rematch. Come on, the werewolves gotta take Halloween. They gotta take it. They can't let First the pumpkins second. win again. I'll go second. Alright, so then I'm going first, which might be better for me, actually. It can be good for you. Absolutely. Dang, zombie. Now we got zombie wolves out here. Some of my stuff relies on it being beasts. Oh, yes. I like this card against you right now. It's good to see. Do this, which will allow me to send straight to my graveyard. I guess for now I'll send away the the glow up bloom, which will activate, allowing me to bring out the pumpkin king in the field already. It's a good start. Now you just need your castle. Yep. I'll end a turn there. Okay. Let's see how fast I can move. I think I got this. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. I was I was working off of this I was this this deck was being worked off of a a pre-built one. Yep. Made some changes of course. But they I didn't realize this was a combo, but bringing out Pumpkin with a level 4 uni zombie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can bring out a level 10 uh, Shurunui Sun Saga and all that. Oh, fun. All right. I'm not going to because that's yeah, not the point of the, the deck, Pumpkin but... focus, but yeah. When in desperate times there's answers. Okay, let's see if I can make this work. I think I have everything I need, but uh, it's uh, it's gonna be a little hairy. So we're gonna set this a spell. Time to bring out Lycanthrope. And we'll bring him out. What do we want to use as material though? I think I wanna use the other Lycanthrope, but that might just be a bad idea. I'm gonna do it just so I can keep a hold of my other wolves. So, we got the Lycanthrope out. Obviously, he's a good monster. But now it's time for my secret weapon, which doesn't save me entirely, but it fixes some trauma. So, we will now attack the pumpkin. Uh, yeah. Get right at him. And we will attack the uni zombie. There, now that's all off the field. And we can end the turn. Yeah, I was thinking Pitch Black Warwolf was gonna save me against Lost Winds, but he doesn't. <laughs> Just uh, Oh. Yeah, because you don't you can activate it whenever you want. Yeah. I only put two copies in when I saw it was in here, I was like, but I'm, I'm what if there's a mirror force too. in there? What if there's a, a dark mirror something? I don't know, man. The only thing I'm afraid of in your deck is the traps! <laughs> and now even. there's two of them. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna do another uni zombie. Oh, nice. Activates. I'll mess with your level a little bit just to do that whole spiel again. Sure. But this time, I will send the Mizuki to the graveyard. Yep. So that I can activate Mizuki. To bring back the pumpkin ghost. Mm -hmm. And. Is there anything I can do right now? No, that's, you're not going to help me right now. Sure won't. You know what? I'll do this. 
So, because I need to do something, I'm going to bring out my Avenger okay. Savior. Mainly going to use them to try to get rid of your werewolf right now. Because what I can do is activate his effect to send a zombie straight to the graveyard. Hey, that's huge. And which one? Hate you. <laughs> Anything it's... with good attack, right? Or is it high level? Level. It's based off level. Yep. Which, for this, times 200, so that would be minus 6 if I do that. Yep. Darn it. I was hoping I could just crash into you if I send Pump Princess. No, you gotta actually send some of value down. I'll send a Mizuki. Okay. Not can't use it right now, but I can use it later yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. That'll get your pumpkin back onto the field next turn, so. Ooh, that's a very welcome chalice slime. Okay. Uh, yeah. We will do that. I will discard advanced ritual art, because I don't think it works in this deck build, actually. And... I suppose... Um, yeah, I'm just special summoning it automatically, so I guess we want to add this spell. Actually, there's only one monster left in the deck, so maybe we just do that. Sure. Get the last copy of uh, our werewolf out. And then next turn we're going to draw another pre-prep and cry. So I didn't yeah. have to use that right away, but I wanted to. And then we'll just put some power on the field and see if we can hammer you down with the wolf pack. Which is rough because you just bring out your pumpkin next turn. He's stronger, but or at least as strong. So, really, I'm just kind of keeping the plays alive here, and you're building plays over time. All right, here. All right, let's see what I can do. I guess I'll set this card face down. Okay. Activating Mizuki, which I can use to bring back the Pumpkin. Still in defense mode, so I can't break him unless I do something big here. Oh, look, a candle. That's nice. Reveal one ritual spell in your hand, special summon this card, and then, uh, oh. Good things. Um, sure. Oh, wait, no, I need to reveal the ritual spell with him. Well, let's get ourselves a ritual spell, shall we? Um, discard. Um, honestly, let's just discard this guy, because it seems to be... Huh. Let me just get rid of candle, I suppose. Uh, but when this is summoned, we add the ritual monster, so there we go. All is well. And then I can keep all my wolves. All right. Oh, yeah, this can just summon itself now. Why not? Special summon TG Warwolf as well. Um, you don't got power on you, do you? It might matter. Mm. Let's do it. Okay. Round two. You are... You are... Uh, you are powerful right now. Trying. <laughs> there we go. The wolf pack's got its alpha back. The alpha can't attack! <laughs> Meanie. All right. Um, that slows this field down tremendously, so... Well, we can battle. Wish I didn't have to use the incantations to get this far, but I just really did. Alright, I'll attack your... I shouldn't be attacking it. Oh, it's Dark Illusion, okay. That chain order was weird, I'm gonna be honest. It, 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 it was, all the effects basically went off. Yeah, I almost feel like that should have been in your favor, but... Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, flip zombie monsters gain 200 defense. Um, and of course, you didn't. He's gone to attack mode? Oh, no. Yeah. Because I realize I need to get rid of one monster in your field before it becomes an issue. No! No! What's your trap? What's your trap? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, jeez, that's brutal. 
All right, what can we, what can we do to? We can't. We, oh gosh, I don't have it. I don't have it, man. Okay, if I get rid of that, then I can desperately go to that. But that's just not it. One other card. Okay, one other card. One other card. We can fix this. We can fix this. Am I going to sacrifice my whole field because I'm scared of that back row card? Yes, I am. If it's a mirror force, then yeah, we're just gonna die. But let's try some things. Battle. All right, Kandal, attack the pumpkin. Okay. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can get interesting. Oh wait, no, TG War was level three. Never mind, never mind, no interesting plays. All right, into the fray we go. What do you got for me? I got nothing but a lie. I was trying to play mind games on you. <laughs> yeah, part of me knew that, but I also wanted to play it up like it was a big dramatic thing happening. All right, the wolves are swarming over. It looks like we're gonna take this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I kind of wanted to get the uh, candle off the field just so I can use my extra deck again. Uh, yeah. No, the only thing that, the only thing it was this, unending nightmare, which I can pay a thousand Ooh, to destroy yeah. a face of spell. Not exactly a fear when you're fighting this deck. Yeah, so might as well just end it. Go out in a Gloria battle. Okay. Well, I guess that uh, everything gets to be celebrated this month. The, yeah. the werewolves, the pumpkins, all of hey, it. The bump pumpkin deck worked a lot better than I was giving it credit for. Yeah, it did work pretty well. Because like, once you got a Mizuki in the grave, then it's like, all right, that's one piece you need. Then you just need one way of summoning another piece. Because the then you only, get the system. The only thing that I would say is hindrance... So was the, the castle of dark <laughs> that and the castle of dark illusions need to be flipped in order to activate its effect yeah if, it didn't if you had some protection and oh yeah it does need to be flipped period doesn't it you can't just even put it yeah. in attack yeah mm -mm. it can i can just normal summon it just to activate the pumpkin king effect mm -hmm. but i did the math it's like it will only increase it by a hundred and by the time that i can increase it again it would still be a hundred under what you to survive against your werewolf stuff yeah, it's just not hard to break that much power these days. So, either way, it was good stuff. Look forward to some more of these decks in the future. We got a special announcement. I guess it's being announced right now, so we'll announce it right now. So, we have a tournament in in the works. It is going to be all spooky-themed decks. There's a community post you can go vote on right now to fill up our 16-deck roster. And then later this week, you'll get to see which decks we are bringing to mm -hmm. the Spooktober Tournament. Spooktober! These decks will not be in it because we figured they'd be very weak, so we gave them a special slot right here at the beginning of the month where they can fight against each other and then actually have some competitiveness. So, good for yeah. them. But they will not be standing up to some of the other decks in the tournament at all. No! Also, someone suggested um, we add Kashtira to the tournament just because people are, are afraid of it when they see it. Um... But we're not doing that. Because <laughs> we're afraid of it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we'll see you then when that comes. Make sure to go check out that poll. Vote on the uh, last couple of decks you want to add into this. And we'll see you next time. See you, folks.